Yeah, yeah, interesting history. About dates. No, correction, sorry. Oops, I just I just put my foot in it. Sorry, um, Steve Jobs. Yeah, sad about his death. Um, and it's a pity that Apple had faced a terrible money-driven demise. <coughs> pity the geeks aren't allowed in the workplace anymore. You don't hear the burps and the and the farts and all the all the geek culture, all the nerd culture. Oh dear, don't I just love nerdiness? Oh, I'm gonna try to promote it. Trying to get the nerds to happen. Oh well, let's just say, yeah, interesting. Working on the iPhone and then, then going back to the tablet. Wow. Well, there's something else that I do believe needs to be designed. It should have been designed. They should have started designing it 20 years ago, and it should have been released about 10 years ago. But it has not even been born. Um. I've become the public face of this project. <laughs> my lover, my beautiful hus husband to be, wants me to hang me out on here. But he's a busy man, and I love the project. The project is very hot, very sexy. Hmm, how do I sell it? No, it actually doesn't exist at the moment. It's, it, the technology exists. I believe the workforce exists. And the workforce, where do we get the workforce from? To build this amazing piece of tech. Well, we don't look at we don't look at recruitment agencies. We don't look at anything like that. We look at YouTube and Google Plus and other places. And or if not there, we look at we can also look globally. We know what I know what type of people I want to find, or he wants to find, and we've got to be selective. We're not going to select normal people who've got the IQ of ninety to one hundred and ten. They've already flooded the market with all their inferior inferior products and their Kicked us out of there, at, out of the industries. So he wants to create a Silicon Valley, and I've taken that on as, as my primary goal. He wants to build a Silicon Valley. He wants to build a self-guided photocopier within that facility. But then there's other technologies running alongside it as well. Like we need urgently, we need to have renewable energy. Urgent. It'll have to. It'll have to exist. It'll have to be developed alongside the photocopier. Um, you know, solar power, we need renewables, um, global warming is on the tipping point. It's just a pity we don't have the same sway like those guys used to have. And, and you see, you know, most geeks now don't have husbands and wives. Well, Gates and, and Jobs have proved something that they can. It's just popular culture. It's, it's being teased and bullied and told you suck and all that by normal people and not getting into work. It's all psychological torture, torment. And then the religious organisation, the church, enacted the ultimate blow. So it's made us all self defeatist Well, I won't accept that anymore. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I won't accept it in my life. Um, I do get setbacks, but I'll tell you one thing, I'll keep fighting and I'll keep spruiking calls out here on cyberspace and I'll send up my videos, my creative videos, and, you know, because we've got to unite, so we, I reckon we could do it. Luigi Benedict would not have sent me out here if he didn't have faith in my, in me being able to do it because I'm so passionate about this machine. The pair of us just can't wait to have sex on a photocopy. I'm a modified one, of course. Dangerous if you don't modify it. But the geeks know what they're doing. He knows what he's doing. He's an expert on the subject. Uh -huh. Anyway, go to go. Have fun. He's still a bright future. A nerd-driven future.